Peace. <laughs> it's your boy God Science up in here, up in here, in this piece with another video. And this video, before I even get into the video, I want to say um, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope y'all was safe, man. Hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Um, me, I just went to, with my family to the movies. Finally got to watch Doctor Strange. You know what I'm saying? Took a break from schoolwork and um, making music and went out and checking out. Great movie, man. Had a lot of metaphysical um, principles up in it. Y'all should go check that out. Doctor Strange is bad, bad, bad video. And I actually saw Fences with Denzel Washington. Great performance, man. Very kind of sad video. Tell y'all a secret. Sometimes I cry doing movies. <laughs> Don't tell nobody that shit. <laughs> but uh, yes, it was movies as it was made. That um, now a lot of dudes ain't gonna admit that shit. But hey, I'm gonna be real, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care how people what people think. You know. Anyway, um, this video is about Sanetta and the uh, House of Consciousness. Now. I never did a video. Um, we all know the past couple of months, the things that's been going on in the in the uh, black conscious community. Um, the things with Young Pharaoh and Seti, and you know, I, I really don't want to go all into that already. You know, it's done. But um, I never did a video on what my opinion is on Sonetta TV. Now, I started watching Sonetta TV like probably six years ago, six, oh, five, six years ago. And, um, you know, with the DVDs, I'm from Brooklyn, so um, I, I knew people that had his, his, his um, DVDs and shit like that, and then, you know, I watched him on YouTube when he came up. Now, a lot of people don't like Sonetta, man, all right? Um, some people say he's a crook. Some people call him Sachetta. <laughs> um, you know, he's all about the money. It's not, you know, like uh, my personal opinion about the black conscious community, I already told y'all. I think it's just a market. People, some people found a market from black people misery. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, the history of whites and blacks in this, uh, this country. You know what I'm saying? It left a stain on, on black people. You know, a lot of people, like black people, just despise white people, you know, uh, for the shit. And, you know, I can't, you know, with the amount of racism and shit that goes on in America, I, I, I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know, and this is not painting everybody to be that. I know that. But it's there you know what i'm saying and it's like a a nagging you know i always said racism like well I'll, i actually got it from dr boyce watkins and he always says racism will drive you fucking insane excuse my language people but it will it will you know it's like it's it's annoying and it's like with all uh, the issues and the struggles you know, trying to figure out this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to provide for our families. Now you got to worry about somebody judging you because of your damn skin color. It's annoying. It's kind of immature. When you really start doing spiritual work and going through whatever, a spiritual awakening, whatever, you start looking at it as this very immature behavior. You know what I'm saying? Racism. Very immature behavior because... You, you limit a person down to their physical presence and there's a human being is built uh, so many on different levels than just physical um appearance you know what i'm saying so it's a real immature way of thinking but not to get off topic because i'm going into a whole different video sonetta um i learned a lot watching sonetta all right half of the people that i know like young pharaoh brother polite Sara Sutton Seti, um, Tazariak, and, and the Hebrew Israelites. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I learned through Sanetta. I don't think we could deny that we have learned a lot watching Sanetta, that we wouldn't know about other individuals if it wasn't for Sanetta platform. We got to give it up to him on that level. You know what I'm saying? He built a platform. His platform is powerful. You know, you get on Sanetta. You, your, uh, your followers are gonna boost. Your subscribers are gonna boost. That is, that's in the, We know that. You know what I'm saying? Now, is there certain things I don't like? What he does, of course. You know what I'm saying? I don't like certain things that he does. 
the debates at first were real fun, cool, entertaining. But then after the after a while, it's like, okay, now where where are we going from here? You know what I'm saying? And then you start looking at it, like I said, how is this going to help us in our everyday lives? You know, I mean, I, I've read a lot of books. I learned a lot of things. And one of the, you know, one of the issues I see with if you want to label it the pro black move pro black excuse my blur, tongue tied right there pro black movement is the focus and all right we know our history we know that but you know certain things like definitely like the Medunetta, like the video i put up why i said he should do the debate with dr umar is because we some people want answers to know how is this going to help us you know what i'm saying and I did a video about his SETI ducking. It's like, come on, man. But that's, I'm getting off topic again. Let's stick to Sinetta. This brother is responsible for a lot of people um, being known in the in the so-called conscious community. We can't front. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, I think my my opinion is like, you know, we have to take the good and the bad with Sinetta. He's a platform, a, a media. He could be doing worse things. You know what I'm saying? He could be doing worse things. His platform does bring a, so, uh, a certain level of conscious, like in the conscious community, it's not all bad. I don't think it's all bad in anything. There's always good and there's always bad. And I think that's everywhere you go on planet Earth, period. You know what I'm saying? It's always good and it's always bad. I always try to focus in on the good of, in, of people. For instance, if you have a, a co-worker that's fucking annoying and that you can't, you don't like to get along with that person, I would try to focus in on the good things about that person. And, tr and you know, it, that's not easy as it sounds, but, you know, and uh, not focus on the, the bad things. We all got faults. We all, you know, we all come with our, our, our ways and things like that. I know I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody is, is out there. Sonetta is a human being. He, he makes mistakes just like everybody else. Now, this contract and stuff with, with SETI and stuff, I never, I didn't see the contract. I know what they said. And yes, it was a shitty contract in my opinion. It was shitty. You know what I'm saying? I think Sonetta was being a little bit greedy, you know, and I think Farrell was looking at it like, okay, now you offering me this amount of money, but when I bring resistance and go out that then you want to um offer me more money when they're thinking is that well you should have offered me the the beef uh um, fair and offer me that amount of money in the first place i get that you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying everything that sanada does is bad definitely you know what i'm saying but there's a good there's a purpose for him you know what i'm saying there's good things out that comes out of his platform and like i said a lot of people we won't know if it wasn't for sarnetta you know what i'm saying i don't look at him i look at it for what it is and i told you my opinion it's a marketing thing you know what i'm saying these brothers you get information they just you know they they give you you get information but at the same time it is using a market uh, to for black people misery for white people you know what i'm saying there's a market there you know what i'm saying <clears throat> because of the injustice that the majority of of minorities experience in america so there's always going to be if somebody stands up and starts to yell yeah yeah and this is wrong you see this is what the white man do and it's wrong of course you'll be going oh yeah yeah hell yeah and the, and then the the crowds will be grown because that's how people feel so it's all good i get it you know what i'm saying i'm not saying anything is wrong with it he's feeding his family he's taking care of his family if he's putting money in other people's pocket it's all good it's just you know he's a human being man he ain't perfect you know what I'm saying? Like everybody is, nobody's perfect. So I take Sanetta as he is. I get certain things out of there. I'm not going to get on here and bash him and, and, and call him names. I never met the brother. I called him once when I first started watching his um platform and I was just impressed. And I was like, you know, good work, brother. You know, he, he inspired, you know what I'm saying? He, he inspired me. I can't front about that. You know what I'm saying? So there's good. There's a lot of uh, good things about Sonetta, man. You know, um, 
I don't like, like I said, I don't like certain things. I think the debate things, it's not going to go anywhere because we're all, you know, we, the thing about a debate is everybody's going to be right. Everybody's going to be right. There's always, regardless of how much holes I push, I, I, I poke into the um, the Hebrew Israelite doctrine or the um, the uh, the Muslims. No matter what holes I poke in there and show or Christianity, if I if I show you the contradictions in the Bible and all this and all that, there's still gonna be people out there that's gonna still believe in it. They're not gonna be like, all right, well you're right, you 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 do, you prove that uh, we shouldn't be following this. Well, I'm not saying everybody won't do it. You know, certain few probably would, but not the majority of people are, are leaving the, the uh, Hebrew Israelite camp to go to Muslims because it was a debate and the information was so overwhelming that we can't just go back. I never seen that. I'm not saying it might happen on a, spoil, a smaller scale, but I ain't seen that shit on a big scale. So everybody's going to be right in a debate. So I look at it as just being entertainment. You know, I'm an intellectual, I'm a Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Intellectual, I like information. You know what I'm saying? So it's something cool to watch. And that's how I look at Sana from that point of view. You know what I'm saying? I don't know his personal, uh, with, with money and things like that. I don't want to, you know, uh, hate there. And there is going to be haters in there with, with valid people that have valid reasons of why they don't want, they don't like Sarnetta. You know what I'm saying? And then there's going to be haters that just because he's making money, just because he's, you know, nobody wants anybody to do better than them. And this is one of the, one of the, uh, the, the things that when you come to like a supreme realization in life of certain things, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen it from being around certain people from my family, certain family members to friends. You know what I'm saying? There is a type of, it's something in human beings that likes to, see, you know, they don't want anybody to do better than them. They're like, sometimes some people like to see other people down so they could beat their chest and be like, yeah, I'm up. But as soon as that person start, they feel like they're getting more bigger than them. Or so that I think that goes deeper than just uh any black consciousness or black. That's human being shit. You know what I'm saying? That is human being shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all human beings uh, have that. Yeah, and it's just something is why why are we like that? You know the crabs in the barrel. You know, it's, it's we know about it. You know what I'm saying? So my opinion of Sarnetta is, I take it for what he is, man. You know what I'm saying? I take certain things out of it, and I look at it a total different way. You know what I'm saying? I look at it as it's, it's just a, it's, it's a market. It is a market. You know what I'm saying? The brother's making money. I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that. He has to make money. It's nothing wrong with selling information and things like that, especially if the if the information is benefiting somebody and things like that. But I think people get it construed. Well, you know, it's it's something uh, a deep a deeper than that. Like it's gonna be some type of revolution type shit. Like if you get pulled over by the cops or some shit in your personal life, okay, and you have problems with with white people or some shit they did like they're gonna come to the rescue and, and help you or some shit like some people really think that shit nah i don't think so you know what i'm saying like i said it is what it is and we gotta admit you get on sign of this platform your your subscribers gonna boost your uh followers gonna boost you know what i'm saying that's because we gotta you know you gotta give that give that up to them you know what i'm saying give credit where credit is due and i and i do to that you know and the, one of the problems with the uh, the internet and monetizing um, videos now is that people would say and do any fucking thing to get extra views and extra subscribers to the point that they will lie and and uh, you know say shit about people just to get views. I don't want to go that route. Now I ain't gonna sit here and tell you I don't want to make money from my videos. I got I want to feed my family too. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's not really, I don't look at my subscribers like that. Well, I got to get this. I got to get, nah, if I get more subscribers, I'm grateful for every, I'm grateful for one fucking subscriber. All right. I'm grateful for anybody sitting there watching my video and 
connecting with me and listening to what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? That's, I think we take it for granted because the internet could become so in, impersonal. You know what I'm saying? But it's people. There. Those subscribers are people. Those those comments are people. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at it like that, I'm grateful for, for just one, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's just some real shit. So, Sanera, I think we should, you know, we all have our opinions on them. You know what I'm saying? We all have his opinions on them. Like I said, I'm just looking from a person that's been following him for a while. And um, that's, that's it. I ain't going to drag this out this much. Once again, man, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and um, liking the videos, disliking them, leaving positive comments, leaving negative comments, being a troll, whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I appreciate it. And um, I'll be coming up with some more um, videos. Um, actually, in the middle of watching a video that was done by Brother Polite. Another controversial brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, I want to give my thoughts. Because, you know, the thing with Polite is there's, there's so much truth that he speaks. But then at the same time, it's like this. Can I, you know, uh, I already did a video on that and explaining that. But um, thank you guys for watching, man. And um, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe this year. Please, let's stop with the violence and killing each other, man. You know, let this year be a year of record, a record peace. Like, we never seen a year where there's so much peace, man. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Instead of these murder rates climbing and climbing, people taking out each other. For fucking nothing, man. Nothing. Uh. All right, y'all. Y'all stay up, man. I definitely going to. Peace.